morning. Okay, y'all, it's so like humid and all that. I don't know what's going on. I promise I like slicked my hair back. It was slick on the side. As soon as I went outside to take care of school, it's like it's already up. But anyways, today, let me put this up. Today I have to um, get my car serviced. So lucky for me, like I bought my car at a dealership in Fort Worth and I also work in Fort Worth. So I'm gonna go to the dealership and then they are going to, um, I'm gonna drop my car off and they're gonna take me to work. So that'll be good, I'll be able to get some work done. The only thing is I have to like, okay, so as many, I've been having my car for like almost 10 years, so nine years. And when I take my car, I've only taken my car and actually sat there and watch them um, service it. Well, let them service it just one time. And I think it took like maybe an hour and a half, two hours. Like I said, other than that, I just drop it off and leave. So my thing is, if I'm sitting here and it's like an hour and a half to two hours at the most, why when I drop my car off, they may not call me till like three o'clock or 3.30 talking about your car ready. Why is my car just not ready? I mean, are y'all letting other people go in front of me that's sitting and waiting? So I think I'm gonna just call I'm gonna call back at like um, 12, 30 or one, like around lunchtime to see if my car is ready. Cause I'm not gonna play with these people all day. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing. But before I go, since I'm not gonna have a car and I usually like will go somewhere and get something to eat for lunch. Um, I'm at Einstein. So I'm in the drive through at Einstein so I can get this bagel sandwich breakfast sandwich because i know that that'll hold me like until probably like until i leave so that's what i'm doing Here you go. thank you thank you Mama. you too my order right Okay, here is an SUV. I like the front of it. Looks really good from the front, but I just think it's too small. Cause look how small the trunk is in the back. I don't know if I like that. It's kind of roomy in the back, but that could be because the seat is up. I don't know. I just think it would be too small for me. Then we got a sports car which is really gonna be too small for me, but it don't hurt to look. Oh, that's nice. But look, I guess I never really looked at one of these. They don't have anything in the back. The outside is nice. I don't know if I like the top. I don't like the top part, but it's really pretty. Yep. So I just picked up my car and I just have to show y'all. So I come to the same little soul food place and get the little wingettes, fried okra, and macaroni and cheese. And then I have like the spot where it's at. It's not like in the best location. Like no shade, it's just not. So what I do is I have a little location that I come to. It's like a store or whatever. And I just kind of sit in the parking lot and listen to a YouTube video, child, and eat my food. And so that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to eat. Oh, so I'm about to eat something just a little bit. Girl, they gave me a little hot sauce too. Yeah, let me, let me let y'all hear that crunch. Mm. Oh, mm. 
It's good. It's hot. I love it, love it, love it. So yeah. I'm gonna watch the video. I'm gonna watch the video and eat my lunch. I right, holla at y'all. Mm. Oh, so I meant to tell y'all about my car situation. So I go get my car serviced. And usually it's between maybe $525 and $600, right? Um, I don't think it's ever been over six. I don't think it's usually actually it's usually between like five fifty and six hundred dollars. Okay, cool. So I go in this time and they say something about this service requires spark plugs, whatever. So the price is like eight thirty five. So I'm like, mm, okay. <laughs> 835 here we go christmas right around the corner okay cool 835 it is so then they um you know i'm i'm back at work i'm working or whatever and so like maybe two hours later the guy hits me up and was like um um check out this video or whatever and basically just like a video of the car like the parts whatever and he said that the service guy was recommending something to go on my tires that goes on the tires i think that's supposed to help with stability or something like that i don't know Ciao. so he was like well if we go ahead and add that on then it'll come out to i think he said thirty two hundred dollars <laughs> sir <clears throat> i've been coming here umpteen years paying $550, maybe $600 to get my car serviced. Y'all done already hit me over the head talking about this time it's going to be $835. i am like, okay, cool. Now you're telling me if I get this little mess on my tires that it's going to be $3,200, sir? I think not. I politely replied back and I was like, the price is too expensive. You know, right before Christmas, I'm just going to do the normal service that we discussed for 835 and I can just come at a later time and get this done because there's nothing wrong with my car. You know what I mean? And whatever it is, I told him to just write it down. Whatever it is, I'm going to try to see if it's something that I can get done somewhere else because the last time I got my car serviced um, last year, they told me I needed tires. So I'm like, okay, cool. Well, the quote they gave me for tires was like $2,000. I think it was like $1,850. Or something like it was something crazy like that for some tigers. I'm like, okay. So I just end up going to <coughs> Firestone and getting tires and saving. I don't know how much money I saved a lot of money doing that, but <coughs> Child, I thought that was funny. And I just had to hear their story because we don't jump from five fifty six hundred to eight thirty five to now we are thirty two hundred dollars. I'm greedy. I was just looking at your plate because this is what I got left. Yeah, I'm greedy. I got two. I couldn't eat all of it. Well, how many did I eat? Yeah, I ate two. Adrian is eating all of his. Yes, I am. I just nothing wrong with that. No, I just, I'm, not, I'm not making a big deal. Oh, my stomach is enough. just a little tight. Cam made she, all his got, food. Because she got a plate over there with chicken wings and oh, greens. You, and it's time to turn the camera off. <laughs> I had to eat something for lunch. Boo, that was my lunch. That was my lunch. So I think we need to do a reboot. On what? On the reveal thing. No! Why? Because T said, hey, hey I want to know why you had the look in your face and you said I was good. Uh, everybody says that. Every, everybody thinks that you're disappointed that you're having a girl. Everybody. I told him, I said, nah. <laughs> it was a leading up that got me looking like that. <laughs> They didn't see the behind the scenes mm -hmm. and like how long it took us to get to that one little package that was in there. So I said, I'm going to convince you. Reboot. We ain't going all the way through. Not this is just to clarify. That. I was not upset. No. That was <laughs> Actually, it couldn't have fit in. It, it wouldn't have made it any better. Two boys and a girl. Being the baby. That's perfect. Boo. You didn't look like so you were happy though. When I pass, somebody they can look out there. That's cool. So it's perfect. But the lead up part wasn't. Right. Yeah. That was it. Uh, 
well that is it for today um thank y'all so much for watching my face is so dry y'all just like my lips i have to put like literally a lot of moisturizer on it at night to try to add back some of the moisture because it's so dry but um that is gonna be it for this vlog again i appreciate y'all watching low-key i still been tripping off on that $3,200 quote they gave me today like you have to laugh to keep from crying like these people don't lost their mind lord have mercy but anyways um thank y'all for watching and supporting my channel and i am about to go to bed and i will see y'all tomorrow